What's up? Joe Capo here, and today I'll be explaining the history and origins of Gohan Blanco. Lucky for you, I was one of the people who helped create the character, and I will explain why my role was even bigger than you may think. The story starts as far back as Dragon Ball Z. Episode 1 of Dragon Ball Z was Gohan's first appearance in the anime, and he already had better manners than Goku. When I watched Dragon Ball Z, it was very obvious that Gohan had much more potential than any other character in the series. He was clearly intended to replace Goku as the main protagonist when Dragon Ball Z came to an end. But, he was disgraced at the end of Dragon Ball Z, and things got even worse for Gohan fans like myself when Dragon Ball Super came out, which completely disgraced Gohan. And like any educated individual would do, I went to 4chan's anime and manga board to complain about Dragon Ball Super, and explain to everyone why Gohan was being mistreated. Since the beginning of Dragon Ball Super, I was constantly spamming on A trying to prove that Gohan was the best Dragon Ball character. I spammed the same videos of Gohan dominating in various fights many times, and constantly referenced the fact that he has the highest power level of all non-fused characters in all of Dragon Ball, the original manga. But as Super continued, and as I continued to spam, people became less and less serious, until some jokingly joined my side. And others started to meme against my side. Eventually I got tired as well, and I started to joke, and I made a tier list out of only text, with Gohan as the highest ranked character on it. People really overreacted to the tier lists I made, so I took a template from a Super Smash Bros. melee tier list and included Dragon Ball characters based on how much I liked them. They started posting my own tier lists with their own meme edits, and Dragon Ball Super threads started to become more and more meme worthy. My Gohan posts had become notorious on A at this point, and the whole community was meme focused because of my original tier list. It also caused a lot of childish fighting in the community, because some people wanted actual discussion instead of memes. Now, that you have all of the background information you need, and you understand the atmosphere, I can tell you how Gohan Blanco was born. When the Tournament of Power Arc had just begun, and after the Angels and the Gods were revealed, people started to make tons of fan theories about what would happen in the tournament on YouTube and mainly, A. On the other side, there were many memers making fun of these theories, I had gathered a small but loud following of Gohan fans at this point, and we theorized that Gohan would win the Tournament of Power. As a quick side note, there were also many posts noting that the angel Mahito looked like Shaggy, I will come back to this later. It all begins when the character Caulifla is introduced. Posters on A started to make the stupidest posts of all time about Caulifla, some people thought she was naked because the preview didn't show her clothes. Some people thought that Caulifla and Kale were the same person, wearing different clothes. Once official art was released, when the episode aired, she offered Kaba, some of her juice, and people started to ship the two characters because of it. And after all that, Caulifla turns into a Super Saiyan in the dumbest reckon I have ever heard in my life. Initially, Goku was supposed to be the only Super Saiyan, because he was the chosen one. Then it was revealed that a Saiyan had to be pure of heart to achieve the form, and Gohan's purity ascended all other characters, which allowed him to achieve Super Saiyan 2. Bakaba reveals to Caulifla that to become a Super Saiyan, all you have to do is tingle your back really hard, and thus, Caulifla had already achieved a transformation that took Goku his entire life to achieve. Many people on A started to predict that Caulifla would win the Tournament of Power. I was outraged because of how much Gohan deserved it, and my followers and I started the Great Gohan Caulifla War. There was a lot of foreshadowing about Gohan, he said that he was looking to achieve a new form more powerful than anything else, and Gohan was elected the leader of his team in the tournament as well. We had been waiting since the beginning of Super for Gohan to make his comeback and finally become relevant again and it was about time to. Now, there have always been a lot of weird fan characters in the Dragon Ball community, but Gohan Blanco's popularity is primarily credited to A for the following reason. People on A were debating the likelihood of Gohan actually performing well in the tournament, when, on February 26, 2017, somebody on A asked the question, so can Gohan still get his Kai boost or is he already god mode by just Rusty with his mystic form? A Gohan hater responded to the question by saying, 
Cohen is never getting God key, at the very most he gets back his Elder Kai potential powers back. And then Amin Poster commented Ultimate Super Saiyan Rage Falls God Super Saiyan Goan, also known Super Saiyan White Goan, will be achieved this tournament and bottle everyone. Gohan posters like myself started to use this Super Saiyan White transformation to spam. And Gohan haters used it as a joke. A user noticed that there was a clickbait video from 2016 claiming that Gohan would be able to reach Super Saiyan Blanco form using the key of the gods. I was in this very thread. And as a response, myself and many others started to mean Gohan Blanco, he was the savior that we were all waiting for, to finally prove that Gohan was the most powerful Dragon Ball character, but the story doesn't end there. We restlessly spammed about Gohan in every thread until the rest of a hated Dragon Ball Super threads and wanted them banned because they were just memes and childish arguments. I started referring to Gohan as God Han, implying that he would overpower the gods of destruction, and another poster started using the phrase Chad Han, implying that Gohan was an alpha male. We made other names too like Smart Han, eventually, we became more organized in our posting, and created our own logo and catchphrase, the catchphrase was, Chad Han always wins baby. Cauliflas fans thought we were delusional, and they thought that just because Cauliflower was on a luck streak it meant she would be the MVP of the tournament, so they mocked us by, telling us to wake up and realize the truth. The battle became fierce, there was name calling, and slander between the two factions. Many image edits were made to exaggerate our points, showing Gohan as a player, and Cauliflower as defeated. They responded by showing images of Gohan being embarrassed and images of Cauliflower stealing the spotlight from Gohan to mock us. Eventually, Team Cauliflower noticed that as Dragon Ball Super progressed, Gohan's hairline appeared to be receding, they thought this was the perfect opportunity to embarrass Gohan, so they made the slanderous image of Gohan balding, with the caption, Bald Han always wins baby, mocking our catchphrase as well. We weren't going to lose from an attack like that, in fact, we took their attack and used it against them, we counter-attacked by creating our own fan character named Gohan Carbo, who was even stronger than Gohan Blanco, we had used their own image against them and made it our own, the memes only got stronger, there were many theories that El Grande Padre would be the final enemy of Dragon Ball Super, because he made an evil smirk once, which some people thought was foreshadowing that he was actually evil, and the only one strong enough to defeat him would obviously be Gohan Blanco, so we figured that Gohan's time to shine would be after the tournament ended, going back to Mojito, since he resembled Shaggy so much, and Beerus looked like Scooby-Doo, many memes were posted on A about this fact. After Goku went Ultra Instinct, somebody on A made this video about Shaggy achieving Ultra Instinct. I watched it when it only had a few hundred views, and I never thought that the video would get so popular, but Reddit stole the meme and it caused it to explode. I thought there was interest in the topic after the video blew up, so I made one shortly after to congratulate the real star, Gohan. But then Toei stole the Super Saiyan Blanco transformation and gave it to Goku. He even says Esto is Elfin in the official subtitles for one of the previews. But anyways, after this, I made the Dragon Ball X series so Gohan could finally have his time to shine, because it's not like Toei is ever going to give him it. LOL LMAO, the end.